Good afternoon, this is Brother Herman with MakeUpSeeTheTruth.org, a nonprofit organization that has been anointed and appointed by our Holy Trinitarian Godhead to be used to bring forth his truths, the correct knowledge, the information, so that our society's less fortunate, our brothers and sisters who are roaming around this earth in search of their true identities, can find something that will help them obtain it. Inside of MakeUpSeeTheTruth.org, you will find a segment entitled Brother Herman's Sermons. These are teaching tools to do just that. They're also going to allow them to find some tools to help them cope through life's many trials, tribulations, challenges, hurdles, obstacles, you know, the terms that comes with life. If you'd like to assist us in this ministry, you may do so by going to our cash app at dollar sign, capital M-A-I-K-U-M, -M, capital C-D-E, capital T-R-U-T-H, and we appreciate whatever the Holy Trinity moves you to assist us with. You can also hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the channel and it will allow you to upload every video or receive every video that we upload first. You can also hit the thumbs up button which is at the bottom of the channel. It will allow you to save each episode that you can share each one with someone that you know that is in need of it. Could be a peer, could be a family member, could be a, a co-worker, could be a stranger on the streets. But whoever the Holy Spirit moves you to share the word with, by all means do so. That is why we're here. Inside of Brother Herman's Sermons, we've already established 10 series. And inside of each series, there is 10 episodes. That means we have over 100 different videos for teaching tools. We're going to be working on series 11, which we have entitled, God is Our Waymaker. We're going to start episode number 6 tonight, which we have entitled, What Are You Practicing? We're going to begin it like this. When I was a kid, it was normal for everyone to just be themselves because everyone was different and unique. We enjoyed each other's personalities just the same. And besides that, we didn't view anyone weird, lame, green, or strange for that matter. And why is that, Brother Herman? Because we had yet to be taught to look at or treat anyone less than ourselves. That teaching didn't come along until the teenage years. So up until the around the age of 14 years or so, you know, the freshman year of high school, all I knew, all I had to, to be was genuine, authentic self. That's all I needed to be. No masks were needed. No pretending to be like someone or behave like someone when deep within myself, I honestly couldn't stand the individual who always offended someone else with something they either said or did. Amen? Praise. Pray for them, because that's what I do today. Now, let's dissect the word authentic and see exactly what we were before the world got its claws in our perceptions and in our in, inside of our thinking, I, as well as ourselves and our peers around us. Amen? From the book of Oxford American Dictionary, it states authentic means of undisputed origin, genuine, made or done in the traditional or original way. So from the above definition of our country's dictionary, we can now understand the way we were as children was indeed original, not fake, nor did we feel it was necessary to pretend we were someone or something we were not nor to like something we certainly did not. We're going to visit the basic instructions before leaving earth, the Holy Bible inside the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 5. And we're going to see what it says. Jesus is speaking. He says, I knew you before I formed you in the womb. Our hot, holy Godhead person of, of the Lord Jesus Christ himself is clearly informing those of us whom sincerely believe he is our Lord and Savior. He's informing us of the truth of where we come from because he clearly states he knew us before coming out of our mother's womb and into this fallen world. Amen? Praise God. Thereby, our origin of pureness, kindness, and love unconditional is indeed our origin. Praise Holy Trinity because our origin is not of deception, cruelty, nor hate, which are the opposites of our authentic character. Before this fallen world got a hold on us and then began teaching all those fallen characteristic traits which we can all 
find in the book of Galatians chapter 5 verses 19 through 21. That is the fallen character of man which the world teaches. Amen. Praise God for his son Jesus who came to give us a way back to our original behaviors before entering into this ever-changing world we are called to shine in, not to be trapped in, nor conform to its ways of deception. We're going to visit the basic instructions before leaving earth once again. We're going to go inside the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verses 1 through, through 3. And it states, and you, all of us, who were uh, of the fallen character before Jesus got a hold of us, he, Jesus, made alive, he made us alive, whom were dead, spiritually dead, and trespasses and sins, in which you, all of us, once walked or behaved like, according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, which is Satan in his deceptive speech, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience, among whom also we are all once conducted in ignorance, of course, ourselves in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of our flesh and of the mind and were by nature children of wrath, just as the others. Those are the non-believers. Holy Spirit, through Apostle Paul's pen, is enlightening us in our characters as to what we were. pre -re pre -re repentance before we chose to de uh, denounce our or admit our sins denounce satan and ask for jesus's way before we ask to return back by to god's presence by our lord and savior jesus christ back to our originality amen because whatever age you were when you too just like the rest of us mankind has done, which was to chose to take off God's garments of pureness and put on the rags of Satan. Because at some point we were tricked or duped into believing that the clothes our creator, Holy Trinity, gave us to wear while we were down here in this earth wasn't good enough. Wasn't good enough, so we chose to take off surety for uncertainty. We took off being kind to everyone around us and put on disdain for a chosen few instead. We chose to take off humility and put on selfish pride instead. So we went from treating everyone around us as equals to looking down our noses at a select few or a select group. Amen. We took off God's love and was tricked into putting on Satan's hate because now we don't uplift our sisters and brothers. Now all we seem to do is bite, bite, slander and hate on them instead. We even took off our cloak of authenticity our Lord Jesus provided for us and traded it for what? Satan's mass of deceptive practices instead. Praise Jesus because he has sent me to be used to wake some of us up whom are still sleeping inside of Satan's spell. Jesus needs all of us to hear this truth of Brother Herman's teachings and wake up. We're going to dissect the word facade because that's what we are all walking around in at some point. And some of us are still are. Out of the book of Oxford American Dictionary, once again, facade means it's a figurative meaning, an outward appearance that is uh, maintained to conceal a less pleasant or credible reality. So from the world's definition of facade, it truly describes itself, the world, and all its fallen occupants, the characters, quite well. In fact, it is as if this definition gave all people who pretend to be something or someone they are not, this definition gives these people a much needed mirror. Amen? Praise God, because he wants every one of his children whom were tricked by Satan out of their shoes and clothes to snap out of the world's trance and wake up before Jesus comes back or we take our last breath. Amen. And Jesus has to say something like the following piece of scriptural truth to all those whom were pretending to be followers of Jesus instead. Out of the book, book of Matthew, chapter 7, verses 21 to 23, 
Those who are walking around in a facade, pretending to be followers of Christ Jesus, pretending to be something that they are not, will might hear something like this. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but they who do the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me in that last day, the day they take their last breath, or the day he returns, whichever comes first, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? Have we not cast out demons in your name? Have we not done wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, Jesus, I never knew you. Depart from me, Jesus, you who practice lawlessness. And that will be all of those who are pretending to be something that they are not, followers of Christ Jesus. So at some point, we must choose to stop wearing Satan's rags of deception and ask Jesus to help us put back on our original apparel of God's authenticity. Amen. Praise Holy Trinity. Once again, this has been another one of Brother Herman's sermons inside of MakeUpSeeTheTruth.org. We are doing uh, series 11, God is our Waymaker. This has been episode number six, What Are You Practicing? Because if you're not practicing the character of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, which can be found in Galatians 5, chapters 5, verses 22 to 25, which is the fruit of the Holy Spirit, love versus hate, long-suffering versus complaining, crying, moaning, and groaning, uplifting, Exhorting one another versus uh, tearing each other down. We are to practice patience versus impatience, tolerance versus intolerance. Why? Because we too had to be prayed for while we were in our mess. Somebody was praying for us and they were being patient with us, tolerating our tasteless behavior. Just like we are called to tolerate some of our brothers and sisters that are around us right now today still acting like children inside of adult-like bodies. We have to tolerate these brothers and sisters because Jesus is waiting for them too to turn around, to admit their wrongs, to stop practicing and behaving like the world, to stop following after Satan's deceptions, his manipulation, manipulating tactics. Satan's job is to get our minds off of the relationship God calls us to have with him. Satan's job is to keep us away from God's presence. Why? Because outside of God's presence, all you can find is misery. And after all, misery loves company. Who better to know this than the father of misery himself? That be Satan. So his job is to keep us away from going back into Father God's kingdom. We ought to stop practicing following after Satan, which is the world's ways. Instead, be comfortable being who you are, the individual that Jesus, Father God, and Holy Spirit created us to be. In the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 26, he said, let us make man in our image. That means we are made in God's image, Jesus' image, Holy Spirit's likeness. All we have to do is practice the fruits of the Holy Spirit, the character of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Practice loving on our brothers and sisters instead of hating on them. Practice being patient with them. Suffer a little bit longer before you start crying and complaining. Practice the goodness of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And you too, each day will become better and better and better every day. Because that's all our Father wants from us is to become a little bit more like His Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, every day. So what are you practicing? Another one of Brother Herman's sermons. I pray that each one have received some so that each one can go forth and teach some of this teaching. And if you want to assist us once again, you can find everything you need to do so on the front of this channel. Our website is up and running. You can reach us through that website, contact us, and someone will make contact with you within 24 hours if you need some spiritual counseling, a little help with your walk in your faith. Because after all, we all needed it at some point. I still need it today. And here I am teaching these spiritual teachings. I'm giving back what was freely given to me. That's all I'm doing. My little part in this big master plan of our Father God's contingency plan, which is the ministry of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the ministry of reconciliation, reconciling all these lost souls of our brothers and sisters, the society's less fortunate, so that they can find that knowledge, that information needed that they're chasing after 
in all the wrong places from all the wrong people. Following and practicing the wrong character only leads to one thing, and that's called self-destruction. We don't want that for you. So until we upload episode 7, which we have not entitled yet, inside of series 11, God is our way maker. He will make a way for you too. Take care of yourself. Be good to each other. And may God continue to bless us all. You have yourself a great rest of your day, afternoon, and evening. Thank you.